Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at the complete combustion of alkanes and alkenes. The first thing to note about combustion of alkanes and alkenes then is it's exactly the same as the combustion you've covered already. So you take the name of the alkane, you react it with oxygen, and it will always form carbon dioxide and water if it's a complete combustion reaction. Alkenes, exactly the same. So if you're asked to write the complete combustion of ethene, you take ethene, you say plus oxygen, and again, if it's complete combustion, it always forms carbon dioxide and water vapor. Now, nice and simply, the final thing for this video is these are all examples of oxidation reactions. Now, you've done oxidation before. It's either the loss of electrons or the gain of oxygen. And as you can see here, my methane has had oxygen added to it. Therefore, my methane has been oxidized oxidation has occurred. And that's the same for any combustion reaction, whether it's complete or incomplete. If it's had oxygen added to it, it's oxidized. Right, let's see what the examiner can ask you on this topic. So I've got three questions for you. Number one, write the word equation for the complete combustion of propane. That should be nice and easy. What does propane react to? What two things are produced? Number two, explain why complete combustion of propane is classed as an oxidation reaction. So what's being oxidized and what does oxidized mean? That's going to get you two marks. And then number three, slightly trickier, write the balanced equation for the complete combustion of propene. And they've given you the formula C3H6. You get one mark for your reactants, one mark for your products, and one mark for balancing. Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through and see how you've done. So we'll start with question one. Complete combustion, so it's always reacting with oxygen. So propane plus oxygen gets you your first mark for your reactants. Your product, again, complete combustion, it's always carbon dioxide and water. So that's your second mark. If we move on to question two, which is explain why complete combustion of propane is classed as an oxidation reaction. Your first mark is for saying what oxidation is. Here, we're talking about oxygen. So it's the addition of oxygen. Then what has that oxygen added to it? It's our propane. So your second mark, propane gains oxygen. If we move on to the third question, which is to write the balanced equation for the complete combustion of propane, we start off with what it's given you in the question, which is C3H6. Hopefully by now you can remember oxygen is O2. Think of the phone company. And then what is always produced in complete combustion? Carbon dioxide, which is CO2, and water, which is H2O. So your first mark is for the left-hand side. Your second mark is for the right-hand side. Third mark is for balancing. So we need to count up what we've got on either side. So I've got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen on both. I've got three carbons on the left, six hydrogens, and two oxygens. On the right, I've got one carbon, I've got two oxygens there, I've got two hydrogens, and I've got one oxygen as well. So in total, I've got three oxygens. Now what I'd recommend, certainly with complete combustion, if you get into a situation like this, where you've got a big odd number here, let's start by doubling that. So I'm gonna put a two in front of my C3H6. That doubles both my carbon and my hydrogen. So I get six carbons, and 12 hydrogens. Now everything here is even, the right hand side becomes easier. I've got one carbon here, what do I need to do to get six? Times it by six. So I'll put a six in front of it, that gives me six carbons and it's balanced. Also doubles my oxygens here, so I had two, I've now got 12. Six times two is 12. Then let's move on to my hydrogens. I've got 12 on the left, and on the right, I've got two. So what do I need to do? Times it by six again. So I put a six in front, that times my hydrogens by six. So I get 12, that's balanced. And it also times this one oxygen by six. So one times six becomes six, giving me in total 18 oxygens. I can then go back over to the left-hand side. I've got two oxygens here, I need 18. Watch your times two by nine. So having 
2C3H6 plus 9O2 goes to 6CO2 and 6H2O. That gets you your third mark. Okay, on to the review. Number one, write the word equation for the complete combustion of butane. Exactly the same, this time we're just using butane instead of propane. Question two, explain why the complete combustion of butane is classed as an oxidation reaction. Again, you should be able to answer that now. And then question three, write the balanced equation for the complete combustion of butene, which is C4H8. Exactly the same structure, exactly the same way that we did it before. That's everything you need to know for this video. Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to my channel, you can check out the latest video, and you can visit my website up above here. Bye now.